Hello there, fifth graders. Uh, this is just one more video on this book report because I added one question since the last time I recorded. So I just wanted to make sure you understood how to answer that last question too, which is this one here, all the way at the bottom. Um, explain a lesson or virtue shown in the book that you could apply to your own life. Explain how the lesson is present in the storyline and give concrete details and examples of how it applies to you. So you find some kind of lesson or virtue. And remember, a virtue is a good character trait that has been practiced enough to where it becomes your natural response. So it's basically something good that the, the character does. And so you're looking for something like that in the book and then apply it to your own life. How could you take that virtue or that lesson and use it to make your own life better or use it to be the kind of person that you want to be? So here's an example of how I answered that question based on the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Again, explain a lesson or virtue shown in the book that you could apply to your own life. Explain how the lesson is present in the storyline and give concrete details and examples of how it applies to you. So here's my answer, and it's an example. In The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Mr. Tumnus shows courage when he doesn't kidnap Lucy and give her to the White Witch, but instead helps her get back to her own world. He also shows the virtue of not letting his past mistakes dictate what kind of person he will be in the future. He did something very bad when he became an informant for the White Witch, but he chose to be sorry for that and to do better in the future, even if it meant he would have to suffer a lot. He knew that doing the right thing would likely lead to him being hurt or even killed by the White Witch, but he decided to do what was right anyway. This reminds me of one of my heroes named Franz Jagerstatter, who was beheaded by the Nazis during World War II because he refused to swear an oath of loyalty to Hitler. This applies to me because I want to be like Mr. Tumnus and Franz Jagerstatter. When it becomes hard or even dangerous to do what is right, I want to do what I know is right anyway, rather than just going with the flow. I want to choose truth and goodness over comfort and ease. So here you can see I took a, and there are so many things I could have chosen from the Lion, the Witch, and the um, Wardrobe. But I chose when Mr. Tumnus, even though he had already made the mistake of deciding to be on the White Witch's side, which was really bad, when he was actually given the concrete chance to either do the easy thing and fulfill his past commitment to the White Witch, or do something really hard and dangerous by going against the White Witch, he chose to do what was difficult. He chose to do what was dangerous because he knew it was right. He knew it was the right thing to do. And that's the same thing with Franz Jagerstatter. So I took that example from The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and I applied it to a real-life historical situation, and then I then applied it to my own life. So that's what I want you to do here too. You don't have to apply it to a real life historical situation like I did, but if you want to, that's a really cool thing to do. You could take a virtue or lesson from the island, <clears throat> excuse me. You could take a virtue or lesson from the island of the blue dolphins. And then if you want to, you could then connect it to some kind of real life historical situation, maybe something that we learned about in American history in fifth grade this year. You don't have to connect it to a real life history thing, though, but I do want you to connect it to your own life. Explain how that virtue or that lesson can be applied to your own life. OK, go ahead and. Um, do your very best on this book report. Again, this is just the video explaining this very last question. Click on the video above this one to see my explanation on how to answer all of the other questions in this book report. And I will catch you next time signing off.